everyone, it's Netta here and welcome back to another vlog. Technically, this is my first vlog, although I did do another one which is now unlisted. If you search for it, I'm sure you could find it. But anyways, today we are going to be talking about a new relationship. Well, actually, I don't know if it's new. It seems relatively new, but anyways, whatever. It's Preston, aka TBNR Frags, and Paige, aka Turn the Page. They are like the cutest couple ever and I've seen a lot of couples anyways in this video I'm gonna be just talking about their relationship how I think it started and like I went through all of their tweets to each other and I picked out the best ones that are like the cutest so uh, I'm gonna show them to you guys and I guess I'm also gonna be proving that they're actually in a relationship which some of you might not know even though they're not trying to hide their relationship at all so yeah let's go into it so like i said i went through pages and preston's tweets to each other and the first thing i noticed was that they have very similar twitter icons meaning they both have a picture of them together on their profile which is really really cute and so yeah I went through their tweets and the first tweet that I could ever find I don't know if that's actually the first tweet that Paige or Preston sent to each other that's the first one that I can find it was sent on the 28th of September last year and Paige just replied to Preston with it's so unfair that guys always get long eyelashes meanwhile I have eyelashes shorter than my YouTube career and the first tweet that Preston sent to Paige was on the 13th of October last year and basically it was a conversation where Preston said retweet if you love steak and Paige said that she's vegan and then Preston replied that she's cray cray. So those were the first tweets between them and I'm gonna read out some tweets that seemed really really cute throughout the time that they've known each other. So on the 5th of December, Paige tweeted out, I hope future Bay is okay with my Japan obsession because if not, I'm going without him. And Preston replied, I want to hit up that Japan scene as well. I'm such a weeb. I don't think that they were dating at that point yet. They were probably just, you know, talking through Skype or DMs or whatever. And, you know, they were just friends or maybe not even that. Maybe that happened afterwards, but... I don't think they were dating, I think they were just friends at that point. And basically that discussion ended with them being really cute to each other and bantering around. And basically you're gonna see from a lot of tweets that they like to tease each other, which is like so cute in a relationship and they're like literally relationship goals. So the next conversation that I found was relevant to their relationship was on the 13th of December and basically Preston said, I feel like I'm one of the only dudes in the 21st century who likes the idea of marriage. I'm an old-fashioned man. And Paige replied that um, it's not a bad thing. I don't know how people go into relationships like, haha, yo, I'm probably gonna dump you in two weeks. And they continued on how they totally agree with each other. And later on in the conversation, a girl named Katie Rose said, you're legit my OTP, just date already. And Preston said, I can't date pretty girls, Katie. It goes against my religion and my Tinder luck. Again, I don't think they were dating at that point. I think they were just really, really great friends. But I think because Preston called Paige pretty, they were maybe flirting with each other then and the next tweet kind of proves it. It was on the 16th of December and Preston put out a video on Twitter saying how he was feeling hot and not so good, meaning he was ill, and then Paige replied, I don't know if the fever is why you feel hot. Again, a little flirtatious and I think that was the time where their relationship was starting out. And on the 18th of December, they had a really cute exchange and they were just bantering around and I'm just gonna insert it here. Where is it? Oh, right here. So basically, they were just really cute and bantering with each other, just as always. On the 2nd of February this year, 
Paige tweeted out about how she wanted to get a nose piercing, and then Preston replied, Something inside of me dies when a pretty girl pierces her face. Which means he called her pretty again. On the 14th of February, Preston uploaded a video where he looked really tired and really sleepy, and Paige replied with, You look good, no offense. So that was sarcastic, but it's still half compliment, half not. Anyways, like, it's totally typical them from what I've seen. Literally, she complimented him and insulted him at the same time. On the 24th of February, Preston tweeted how he really misses Choco and I just miss my best friend, to which Paige replied, excuse me, which from their Twitter conversations, I found out that Paige and Preston call themselves best friends, which is really cute because they're a couple and also best friends. Literally, relationship goals. On the 26th of February, Paige uploaded a video about her being locked out of the house and Preston replied, I'd be lying if I wasn't grinning now from ear to ear. Just another one of the reasons to love Paige. He used the word love and Paige replied, Much love from my trailer where I'm sleeping tonight. This wouldn't have happened if you hadn't gone to bed. I blame you. On the 12th of March, a girl named Maria uploaded a photo of Paige to her Twitter and sent it to Preston and Preston said, wow, who is that girl? She's really cute. And Paige replied, want to hang out sometime? And by that time they were definitely dating. So I think they were just teasing the fans and themselves. And now we're at the point where I personally found out that Preston and Paige were dating. So it was the 14th of March when Preston tweeted out, when you wake up and Bay helps ease the day. And then Paige replied, feel like this is directed towards coffee, but I'm a fave anyways. So Paige is Preston's bae, which is really, really cute. And the next day, Preston uploaded a picture of him and his pores. Paige uh, replied, cutest pores I've ever seen. And Preston called her bae again. On the 20th of March, Preston tweeted to Paige, Kinda really miss you fam, so I stalked your Twitter, sorry not sorry. And Paige replied, I saw you creeping in my notifications. Not complaining, miss you, she'll hit you with a brick momentarily. Again, that was Paige being Paige, saying that she likes Preston one second and then saying that she wants to hit him with a brick the next one. On the 24th of March, Preston uploaded a picture of him and Paige talking on Skype, which proves that they were talking on Skype regularly, which was already obvious for me at this point, having read all of their tweets from the very beginning, or at least the first tweets that I could find. Then Landon, Preston's cousin, tweeted out, did you guys meet on Christian's Mingle? And Preston replied that they actually met in anime dating website. On the 25th of March, Preston tweeted out a gif of a person turning pages of a book and then said, turn the page in the tweet, uh, which is obviously related to Paige because her YouTube username is turn the page. Choco replied to Preston's tweet uh, saying, that he's proud of how funny Preston is and Paige replied, are you kidding me? I'm the one who made it up. Preston then said, who are you again? And Paige said, just a newly single girl living her newly single life, which means that she was kidding about leaving Preston because of this thing. On the 1st of April, I found out that Preston's gonna be actually visiting Paige because he tweeted out, be careful Paige or I'll be ordering poop to your house next. And Paige answered with, you're coming over anyways, it's basically the same thing. Two days later, Paige tweeted out a picture of food and Preston replied, looks a hundred. And Paige replied, kinda like you. On the 11th of April, Paige tweeted, Sleep has never looked more beautiful in my life. And Preston replied, change his name to sleep. Haha, <laughs> got him. And Paige said, we are that couple tweeting from different rooms. I hate you, nerd. Good night. So this was the first time when I can actually see that they were a couple. They actually used the word couple. And I don't know when exactly was the day that Preston went to Paige's but he was already there when that tweet was sent out because obviously they were in separate rooms and they also tweeted out a few pictures during Preston's stay at Paige's home, 
While Preston was visiting Paige, they filmed a video together called the Spicy Noodle Challenge, in which they tried to eat a bowl of spicy noodle as fast as possible, and Paige, because she didn't want to get stains on her shirt, uh, put a towel around her neck, and this happened. I have a bib because I'm wearing a white shirt, so I'm literally gonna wear a bib. Also, I'm dating a toddler. Yep, that's me. So there you go, a confirmation of Preston saying that he is dating Paige. I'm sorry if the lighting is bad. When I started filming this, it was light outside, and now it's kind of getting dark, so I need to finish the video soon. Anyways, back to the point. On the 11th of April, there was a conversation between a girl named Emily and Paige on Twitter, and Emily said she's Keely's friend, and isn't she? Keely is Preston's sister, if you didn't know. And Paige replied, I knew Preston before I knew Keely and before Landon. And then Emily asked, how, did, how do you know Preston? Obviously, she was asking if Paige and Preston were dating. And Paige replied, we met on Twitter, mostly through mutual friends, though. So this is how they met. And then three days ago, Paige tweeted out this. Post photos from my wedding, comments, lol, are we dating? Which is probably a reply to all those people who are asking Paige if Preston and Paige are dating, meaning that it's obvious, like, can't you see that they're dating? <laughs> so this is about all of the tweets that I could find from Paige and Preston to each other, and one more thing that I found out from their Twitters is that they have a carrot named Carol. You know that pillow toy thing carrot that Preston got? I don't actually remember where he got it from, but I think he gave it to Paige, named it Carol, and now Carol lives with Paige and is actually a header on Paige's Twitter. So that is another really cute thing between this couple, and I just think that their relationship is something that I would want to have if I ever wanted to have a relationship. So this is about all the things that I can find about Preston and Paige together, and if you ask me, they're like literally the cutest couple ever, because they have so much in common, and they're always bantering around, and like literally being so cute together. Now, I have done this video before on another YouTuber and his girlfriend, so um, it didn't end so well, I had to unlist the video. So Preston, if you're watching and you want me to take down the video, then please say that. Um, you can DM me like the other YouTuber did and I promise you I will remove the video immediately. But the difference between this video and the other video that I made is that I don't think Preston and Paige want to keep this relationship a secret. They're not trying to, at least. And the other YouTuber was, so I don't think Preston and Paige will want me to remove the video, but like I said, if they do, then I'll definitely remove it. I will leave a link to everything that I've talked about in the description below if you want to check anything out. I will also leave links to Preston and Paige's YouTube accounts and Twitter accounts, and so you should go subscribe to them and follow them and do all that great stuff. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please give a thumbs up, subscribe down below if you haven't already, and leave a comment on what you want to see on my channel. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!